it's me, Stom the Bean, and welcome back to Greener Craft. Hello, everybody. If you're still enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, then please do subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. That would be nice, please. Anyway, let's get on with today's video. Um, yeah, we're back in Greener Craft. I'm really happy um, because... Yeah, I've been doing a bit of work off cam. I hate saying off cam because it always makes me think that you guys think I'm doing a crane. Uh, sorry, I'm cheating. Um, <laughs> but I'm not. I promise you I'm not. Uh, I promise you what I've been doing is legit. And I have built a QED system. Uh, Quark Electron Director. Quark Electron Director. Quantum Ender Diviner. Quantum Ender Diviner. It, it changes its name every time, usually. There we go, Quantum Energy Device, that will do. Uh, so I built a QED and Enderflux Crystals. Um, the reason I did this off-camera is because I wanted to speed up my Ender Quarry. Now, if I change myself into a blaze, I'll show you what I did um, off-camera. Uh, if we can get out of here without getting murdered by horrible things. All I did was I built this thing. Whoa, the lag is real today. And then the quarry speed one upgrade is, is all I did. That's that's all I built. Uh, just to speed up the end quarry so that it starts um, pulling stuff out really quickly. Uh, and yes, you may be able to notice I've got lots of eggs in here as well. Because I've been doing something else while I was off cam. Um, and that was in my, in my um, ME system... Shut that door so nothing comes in. In my ME system, I had some Easter Bunny uh, eggs. So if I type in EGG, there we go. Um, I had some of these dried Easter Bunny eggs. I've got Enchanted Golden Apple Cow. Nice! Uh, there it is. Ancient Dried Easter Bunny Spawn Egg. I had quite a few of those. Uh, so I turned them into normal eggs and uh, spawned them in. Uh, but if we type in Easter Bunny, E-A-S-T-E-R, you can see we've got 47 of those Easter Bunny spawn eggs. If I type in the Prince, you can see the Princess, we have 13. The Prince, we have 11. Because all I did was I basically, I just let them go uh, absolutely crazy over here uh, in this area where I've got for all my eggs and stuff and as you can see I have all of these and these are now slowly very slowly uh, being transferred from one chip dude dude come on I'm trying to make a video here that's it sort them out sort them out um, yeah they're slowly being transferred uh, from one chest to another and then eventually they will end up in the ME system Oh, it's nice to know my cannons are working, but they're just not good enough, and today we're going to work on those. Um, I want to get my pulverizer sorted out and stuff. Uh, let's change this around, because this just isn't working for me. Um, what have we got in here? we got loads of eggs in here, so if we put the transfer node... Um, if we put it there... Will that then transfer eggs into there? Yes, it will. That's going to transfer eggs into there. And it's also going to transfer eggs into there. But this one is empty, so I can take this transfer node out. Um, let that one fill up for now. Uh, that chest should be empty as well. So I can take that transfer node out. And put that... Uh, let's get rid of this. Why am I lagging so badly? I don't like it, sir. Please, sir, I don't like it. Um... If I put a transfer node just there, that should transfer it all into there a lot quicker. And then all my eggs are just going to end up in my ME system uh, for whenever I need them. Oh, look, there's, there's an orb over there. Let's go and grab that. And hopefully all of these are empty now. Because uh, earlier on when I checked, they were really full. Uh, yeah, they are. Anyway, right, so let's get on with today's episode. Uh, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to build a pulverizer. Why? Because I need to get all of that ore out of here that's being pulverized. Um, I need it to double up and, um, and and do it twice as fast as what it's normally been doing. So, I'll be back shortly when I've made a pulverizer. 
I'll see you soon. Bye. And there we go. One pulverizer completed. Uh, so what we want to do is put this pulverizer up above here. Uh, now I'm hoping. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. If we put... Uh, I want to... Yeah, it's got power. It's got power. That's good. Um, configuration. If I made that blue with that input from that, no. Hmm. Yes. I'll be back! Okay, so I've kind of sorted it after a little bit of playing around. I originally thought if I use a transfer node, place it on the front of there, it will suck out items and put it into the pulverizer. I could have put a transfer node on the front of that chest and it would have pointed directly into the pulverizer, but yeah, it didn't work. In the end, I had to use item ducks from Thermal Dynamics, um, which are really easy. It's like two... Uh, lead I think with some glass in the middle and then all I did was make some servos you end up getting two from the recipe uh, the recipe is like so um, and I just did that in the ME system which was really easy and now we have servos so um, that is now all working perfectly for me I shall put all of this red hand troll back by uh, I shall put all this back uh, we'll get rid of that as well uh, because the main point of today's episode I just want to check that is pulverizing. Now I just I, I need to sort out the um, configuration. Uh, that should be uh, I believe it's red. Is it red to output? And then that's off. That's off. Is that going now? Sixteen. Ten. Yeah, I believe that's outputting. Oh, I can't open the chest. Pulverized gold, that should be going in there, and that is getting pulverized. Uh, pulverized gold's come in, and now, yeah, pulverized lead. I believe that's working. Yeah, that is working. That's good. I've got that set up. So we got two pulverizers going with all my ores now, uh, sorting all that out. Right, the next thing I want to do is upgrade my turrets. My turrets are great um, uh, when you want to fire... Uh, random things uh, <laughs> random things when you want to fire <laughs> cobblestone at random things they're great but they use cobblestone and I have to keep filling them up with cobblestone and look they're running out and they shoot absolutely everything Any anything that's bad that comes along they will shoot and I, I, I like them but they can be better so I want to upgrade them, um, and the way to do that is, if we head into uh, our ME system, uh, and then if we type in turret, T-U-R-R-E, um, it's the laser turret that I want to build. It's a tier 5 laser turret, and this is the recipe. Now, it's quite a tricky recipe, uh, requiring um, uh, things like this. Um, I'm not quite sure how many are two of those per turret. So, hmm, that's going to be a lot. That is going to be a lot. Then we've got to make a, a chamber, uh, an octodic capacitor, which is just a normal double layer capacitor with some vibrant alloy, um, which is, is a basic capacitor with pulverized coal and energetic alloy. Um, and, and those things are made like this. So let's just make... Um, Let's make a stack of 28 of those. Uh, copper ingot can go in there. There we go. Um, so we've got, sort of, uh, most of it done. Um, I did make some vibrant alloy, I believe it's called. Uh, did I move it? Have I already put it into the ME system? I don't know whether I did or not. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go and have a look. Uh, let's just fire that all up into there. And if we click on... Uh, vibrant, no, okay, um, uh, what was that other stuff? <laughs> to make vibrant alloy we need, um, it is energetic alloy and ender pearls in an alloy smelter. So, let's type in ender pearls. Ender pearls, we have none. Excellent. 
in there. Jetic alloy. There we go. We have some of that. I, I'm sure I made some. Pink generator. I don't know where I got that from. That must have come out of a, um, a what's it. Right. Uh, let's do ender pearl. A N D E R ender pearl. Uh, let's take a stack of those. I said a stack of those. That'll do. Uh, and let's put these into the alloy smelter. So we'll get these smelting up. Uh, then I'll cut the video because it's going to take a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, we don't want that to happen. No, that was naughty. What am I making? What did I just make? I made ender pearl dust. Oh, no. That's not good. Right, that's going to make me some uh, vibrant alloy. So uh, once that's done... I'll be back. Right, so after a really, 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 really long time, uh, I'm kind of getting somewhere with this thing. Uh, it's it's so intricate in the way that you make stuff. I gotta get this right. Um, yeah, there's just so many different parts to it. Right, can I make this one? Yes. Right. How many of those can I make? Four. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so we've done that, now we need to, no, 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 we need to make this one. Right, what am I missing? I'm missing that capacitor thing, the basic capacitor. I don't have any gold nuggets, that's easily remedied. Uh, let's just put those there and go like that, I guess, so that we make sure we've got plenty of gold nuggets now. There we go. <laughs> right, this thing is so difficult. Um, is it this one I need? I'm sure it's this one I need. Right, basic capacitor. There we go. Um, we'll just make one because I'm, I'm kind of having an epiphany. All of this has got EMC value, so maybe I only need to, um, to use this, the EMC version of it. Um, I can use my my tablet thing. There we go. We've made one of those now. Um, so we've done that one now it's this one a double layer capacitor we have the double layer capacitor and then we should be able to just make this one there we go that's the chamber and then can we make this entire thing oh we're missing what are we missing the IO bus one two two of those there we go and then if we make that like that yes Oh, finally! Finally! We've got one! Right, this has got an EMC value, so I'm going to cheat this one in. There we go, it's been learned. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go, I believe I've got six on the roof. Let's go swap these laser cannons out now. Uh, now we've upgraded. There is something better that I can I can build. It's called, a, I think it's a rail gun, uh, but I don't really want that one. I do not really want that one. So let's take this off. Did, does it not? Does it not come apart? Once you place them, are they stuck? Oh no! I can't get rid of them. Really? Okay, alright, so we want to make some turret bases. Um, and I bet it's tier 5. I must make a tier 5 turret base, right? Because I bet I can't put my lasers. Yeah, tier 1, tier 5 turret base. Uh, let's go and have a look and see about that. Um, turret base, tier 4, tier 5. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got most of this stuff. I think we can make this. Because I've EMC'd most of the things that I made, I think it's possible for me to make this. So let's see if we can make these tier 5 <laughs> turrets. Right, what's that? Vibrant capacitor bank. I can make that right now. There we go. One of those. That, that's that done. Uh, we've got that. Let's make uh, let's make that many of those. Um, okay, um, we've got those. We've got that. We we need this. 
Uh, we need that, we need that, we need that, we need that. Uh, so let's make one of those. There we go. Done. Then we want to make... Um, is it this one? Done. There we go. We're, we're looking good. Then it is... This one? Yes. Oh, we are getting there. Then this one. Beautiful. This is alright. We, we're going to be able to make this really easy. Like that. And then if I do this. Oh, what am I missing? That thing. I, I just made that. Vibrant capacitor bank. It's non-stackable. That's why. It's non-stackable. Right, so if we take that. There we go. We've made a tier 5 turret base. I've got 6 turrets. Hopefully this has got an EMC value. Yes, it has. There we go. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. We can now use our tier 5 turret bases with our lasers and hopefully uh, get this place looking good. Right, so we've just got to go and place them down. I guess I can't get rid of the cannons that I've already got. Uh, but that's not the end of the world, uh, because we can just do this, this, there we go. Wow. Don't attack the troops. That is quite loud, isn't it? Let's be honest. That is quite loud. It's filling up with power. It's not... It's not getting as much power as I was expecting it to, and I'm assuming all of these are just going to really drain it, but it's well worth doing. Let's make sure this doesn't attack neutrals as well, uh, because I had a lot of problems with them uh, attacking neutral things like my bunnies when I had them running around, they were getting attacked. I don't know what you guys are shooting at, but you carry on. You carry on, boys. You carry on. Okay, and we'll put one there as well. And configure that. There we go. And we might as well have two on the end here. Uh, can we put one there? Yeah, and one there. This is taking a long time. But we've got these lasers all set up now. There we go. Whoa. They shoot a massive distance. That's amazing. I, I want to spawn some stuff in now. Uh, all these are empty. I'll take it. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, let's spawn in. No, not a rainbow ant. Uh, not a spider. Uh, not um, a, a mantis. No. Uh, let's, let's try and find something cool uh, a caterpillar I've already killed a caterpillar haven't I Chris uh, Robert Hercules beetle have I no I haven't killed a Hercules beetle I believe I need to let's spawn this guy in whoa right okay so they're taking him out why are my lasers not working I was hoping for better, I'll be honest. Okay, let's go and deal with this guy. Come on, dude. Oh yes, the lasers are kicking in. Oh, the lasers! Kill that Hercules deal for me. Do it. For the uh, the big bertha, I'm not 100% sure. Where'd he go? Surely that wasn't it. He's in. He's in my base. He went through the wall. There he 
Jesus! Hey! What are you doing? He's regenerating! What? I need to rescue this guy! Come on, buddy, I'll save you! Where are you? He's in my base now, right? Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What a glitch. Oh, and that means he's not outside, so I can't take him out from outside. Let's just uh, set him on fire and, and kill him in, inside my base. We'll collect everything he's got to offer. And yes. That should be something else, maybe? Is there anything? Nothing. He wasn't part of what I need. My power's gone. My lasers have completely drained my power. I'm gonna need to sort out my power system next episode. Uh, but anyway guys, unfortunately we have just about run out of time. I've gone well over time. I know I have uh, this time. Um, yeah, if you're still enjoying this series then please do hit that like button down below. Let's just try and go for as many likes as possible. Above 20 would be nice, but I know that's not always possible. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. I've been Stomp the Bean. Good.